Another fun activity is taking the train up to Mount Titlas, and along the way we have fun on the train when it goes up a very steep hill. It becomes a rack railway, and you can actually lean over, almost touching your toes, touching the floor, and the train slows down a little bit, going up the steep hill, and you get a better view of the mountaintops beyond. The forest, there's a little stream that runs next to the tracks for a while. And then the scenery opens up with this vista of mountains and forests and glaciers up on the peaks. It's really a lovely ride. We're going from Lucerne to the town of Engelberg. It takes about one hour for that train ride and get to Engelberg, end of the line. And getting up to the top of the mountain is an easy chore. Once the train reaches Engelberg, you walk a couple of hundred yards over to this cable car station and your train ticket is also good. It's a combination ticket, so you use the same to get up in the cable car. But with Titlis, you're at 9,000 feet and above, and you're looking at peaks that are 11 and 12,000 feet high, so they're always covered with snow. Even if we've seen snow before sometime in our life, it's uh -huh. usually a very long time since we've had a chance to frolic in a snow field like this. Another fun event up on Titlis, and we're going to show you a lot of it coming right up now, is the inner tube ride. These are heavy-duty inflatable cushions with handles that you go sliding down the hill on. It's just like a toboggan ride. Pulls you up, lets you go, and you go flying down. Lots of fun. And you can do it over and over again while we're up here at the mountaintop. There's no extra charge for this ride, so you might as well take advantage. Feel free as a bird and just get on the line and it moves quite quickly. Just wait a few minutes and you're towed up for your next spin around the mountaintop. You can try a little bit of steering with your feet and hang on or maybe just hang on with one hand if you're going to try and take pictures. It's like a toboggan ride and you come shooting down. So this is really a fun little activity to play around with. It's like a sleigh ride and you shoot down the hill pretty fast. This friendly doggy looked like a St. Bernard or some kind of mountain rescue dog. He loved the attention. It's breathtaking scenery. It seems like it's just popped right out of a postcard, but this is the real thing. It might look good on television, but being there in person is the only way to really experience it, of course. And these towering mountains overhead. There's snow on the mountain peaks. There's waterfalls coming down and we are going to explore the inside of this glacier. They've actually carved an ice tunnel. It's more than a tunnel, it's a grotto inside the glacier itself. And then after we've had our fun, it's time to go back down the mountain and back into Lucerne for an afternoon of shopping. Once again, we see Tribze and we take the same three cable cars to get back down the hill. It was only in 1967 that the top of the hill was conquered with this cable car system. So we're really the fortunate beneficiaries of all that Swiss engineering. Mount Titlis is 10,500 feet high, which makes it the tallest mountain in this part of central Switzerland. And this means that there's a glacier on top of Mount Titlis all year round, so it's a spectacular sight for us Hawaii people to see. It's a very fun half-day excursion. You have three different kinds of cable cars. There's other day trips you can take from Lucerne. You might go up Mount Pilatus, but generally at Pilatus you don't get the snow the way we have here in Titlis in the summertime. When you get halfway down from Titlis on the cable car, there's an option where you can ride a scooter the rest of the way down. It costs about eight dollars and it's only about a 10 to 15 minute scooter ride, but this is a lot of fun. You just roll down. There's no motor on there, of course. You're just being pulled along by gravity on a dirt road through some pretty scenery. And this is a mild adventure. You've got two brakes. You want to keep both hands on the handlebars and just stand up and enjoy the ride. It's nice and quiet up here, fresh, cool air. And if some of you don't want to ride the scooter, they can just stay on the cable car and meet you at the bottom. 
the scooter ride only takes uh, another five minutes or so longer than riding down by the cable car, so it's very convenient. And you go around some curves through the forest. There's no cars on this road, so you're okay. You might see a cow perhaps here and there, but keep both hands on the handlebar. And then when you get down to the bottom, onto the train and back to Lucerne.